Good morning, Dr. Stephen. Is there any way we could book an appointment for my daughter, Victoria? She's been complaining about being fatigued, feels weak, has poor circulation to her hands and feet, and has been having very bad headaches. Oh my, it's a good idea you called me. I have an opening at 1.30 if you're available today. Thank you. See you at 1.30. Hi, nice to see you again. Please take a seat on the exam table. What's brought you in here today? I've been feeling really tired recently, and even if I sleep for 15 hours, I'm still ready to go back to bed. A lot of the time, I wake up with bad headaches, and my hands and feet are freezing cold, and I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but my nails have been breaking a lot, and my tongue starts to hurt sometimes. She also seems very pale even though I've been getting her to go outside a lot. Oh, I see. It sounds like you may have iron deficiency anemia. What's anemia? Anemia is a condition that occurs when your blood doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells or the protein hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is an important component of red blood cells because it binds oxygen. When you have too few red blood cells or your hemoglobin levels are low, your body will not get enough oxygen. Oxygen helps to provide important nutrients and transport them by the blood in our bodies. Without enough oxygen, your body is not able to function properly. It's a good thing Victoria's mom booked an appointment. She shouldn't worry too much though, because iron deficiency anemia is the most common type of anemia. It occurs when your body does not have enough of the mineral iron. Iron is important because it helps to make hemoglobin. Victoria is experiencing common symptoms for anemia. Besides general fatigue, weakness, pale skin, dizziness, cold hands and feet, poor circulation in the limbs, brittle nails and headaches, someone with iron deficiency anemia may also feel shortness of breath or a fast heartbeat. Before I can diagnose you for sure, you will need to do a CBC. What is a CBC? Good question! A CBC is a complete blood count test where a doctor will count the amount of each cell in your blood. The most important part of this count to iron deficiency anemia is counting the red blood cells. The doctor will do this by taking a small sample of your blood. That sounds like it's gonna hurt! Oh no, you'll just feel a small pinch. So after we do the blood test, when will we hear the results? I will get the results back from the office by tomorrow morning, and then, if you have iron deficiency anemia, we will book another appointment. Hello, Ms. Murphy. I got the results back from your daughter's blood test yesterday. I would like to book an appointment with you for 3 o'clock today, if you're available. Thank you for coming back into the office today. The results from your CBC test came in this morning, and you have a mild case of iron deficiency anemia. Before prescribing you medicine, I'm going to recommend that you change your diet to incorporate high iron foods. What food should my daughter eat to help with her iron deficiency? High iron foods that Victoria should include in her daily diet are iron-enriched breads and cereals, vegetables such as peas, beans, and chickpeas, dried fruits, dark green leafy vegetables, and meats such as chicken, turkey, pork, as well as fish. There are lots of tasty meals that you can make with those ingredients. In addition, vitamin C helps the body to absorb iron. Victoria should try to eat fresh fruits such as oranges, grapefruits, and strawberries as a great way to get vitamin C. Some vegetables are also high in vitamin C. These include broccoli and tomatoes. The best way to find out if the foods you're eating have iron in them is by looking at the nutrition facts label on the package. This chart will show you how much iron the food contains. The amount is given as a percentage of the total amount of iron you need every day. Try to reach 100% each day. 
Do you think that changing Victoria's diet will be enough to help her overcome her symptoms of iron deficiency? If this does not help and Victoria still feels the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia, please call the office to book an appointment and I will advise her to take supplements. But only take iron supplements if I, your doctor, tell you to, because taking too much iron can be dangerous. How many iron supplements you will need to take is different depending on how severe your iron deficiency anemia is, your age, your gender, and your weight, so your doctor will help you to decide what is best for you. In 2015, iron deficiency anemia was the most common nutrient deficiency diagnosed in the world. So do not worry, because with a few easy lifestyle changes, you will overcome the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia for sure. I wish you the best of luck, Victoria. It's a good thing you called the doctor's office and we were able to diagnose your iron deficiency anemia. Let's have a checkup appointment soon to see how you're feeling.